Hello and welcome to Cell Profiler. In this short movie, I'll demonstrate some of the features of our software as an image analysis tool for identifying and quantifying cell phenotypes. All the images and pipeline I will be using in this demo can be downloaded from our webpage, www.cellprofiler.org. For this demo, I'll be using a set of human cell data. One of the strengths of Cell Profiler is its flexible modular design and its point-and-click interface, which makes setting up an analysis feasible for non-programmers. For this particular data set, we have displayed an, an analysis pipeline. A pipeline is a sequential set of individual image analysis modules. Each module performs a specific task, so by stringing them together in order, you have the capability of automatically analyzing your data set. You can see the individual modules in a pipeline in the list box to the left. As you click on each module, the corresponding parameters that can be adjusted are shown on the right. Each module is executed in order, starting from the top and working downwards. Now, to actually execute the loaded pipeline, click on the Analyze Images button at the bottom right. As each module executes, a window is open so you can examine the performance of the module, its input as well as its output. Once, you, once the pipeline is satisfactory, analysis can be performed on a local computer or automatically divided into smaller batches to be sent to a cluster of computers. Typically, the analysis proceeds first by loading in the image data as input, then processing the image, identifying the objects, and finally measurement. Most of the modules are automatic, but the software also allows for interactivity as needed. Modules are mixed and matched for a specific project, and each module settings are adjusted appropriately. Okay, now let's look at the results one by one. For this demo, after the images are loaded, we have cropped them to better highlight the features of interest. In most biological images, cells touch each other, causing the simple, fast algorithms used in some commercial software packages to fail. The next several modules deal with object identification, which is the most challenging step in image analysis, and its accuracy determines the accuracy of the resulting cell measurements. The Identify Primary module identifies the first objects in the image, such as nuclei from DNA-stained images. Most importantly, to effectively identify objects, cell profiler is able to separate clumped objects, creating separating lines between the objects, and then removing the objects based on measurement criteria, such as their size or shape. After primary objects are identified, the edges of secondary objects that surround each primary object, such as cell edges, can be found more easily. We've implemented in Cell Profiler several robust methods for finding the borders between clump cells. Other cellular compartments can also be identified, including the cytoplasm, the part of each cell excluding the nucleus, and the cell or nuclear membrane, using the Identified Tertiary module. Now in this pipeline, we're using these objects as inputs for the measurement modules. Cell Profiler measures a large number of features for not just an image in its entirety, but also for each identified cell or subcellular compartment, including area, shape, intensity, and texture. In contrast to most commercial software, Cell Profiler's modular design and open source code allows quickly measuring new cellular phenotypes as needed, enabling users to adapt to new biological questions. Lastly, the results can be saved or exported for later examination. Here, we've overlaid the outlines of the, the identified primary objects onto the original image. These images can be saved into the image format of your choice. And resulting measurements are accessible by exporting to a tab-delimited spreadsheet format that can be opened in programs like Microsoft Excel. The data can also be accessed by using Cell Profiler's built-in viewing and plotting data tools, or exporting in a format that can be imported into a database like Oracle or MySQL. This concludes our demo of the features of Cell Profiler. If you have any questions, you can always refer to the documentation or post on the online forum at cellprofiler.org.